So I described it as Hiroshima, which was basically pretty mellow compared to what was really going on up there. An opinion that has Neil Young at the center of a heated debate. The Canadian musician compared the oil sands to the war zone in Japan after the atomic bomb was dropped. He is entitled to his opinion. We obviously don't agree with his opinion, and we think that the uh, Wood Buffalo region uh, with the development there is important to our province and our nation. And for the first time since the comments were made, Canada's Association of Petroleum Producers is speaking out. I think his statements demonstrate uh, pretty consistently a lack of understanding of the oil sands and a lack of understanding of the realities of the energy mix in North America. Young made the comments as he kicked off his Honor the Treaties tour. The goal, to generate support for the Athabasca Chippewan First Nations fight to stop further development near their land. For us, this is about making sure there's accountability. It's about ensuring that governments and industry are cleaning up after themselves and really working with First Nations to find ways to mitigate the impacts that currently exist. However, this oil and gas professor doesn't believe the comments will have much impact. I think we need to take a larger perspective, a wiser perspective, uh, and certainly a lot more objective. Rhetoric doesn't help. And he says to get his facts straight. If he was in uh, my energy course, uh, he'd get a failing grade. As far as me not knowing what I'm talking about, everybody knows that. That's not obvious. You know, I mean, it could be, couldn't be more obvious, you know. I'm a musician. Young has been invited to meet with industry leaders while in Calgary for Sunday's concert. No word whether that will happen. Amanda Anderson, CTV News, Edmonton. Executive Director of the Sierra Club Canada. Uh, John, what do you make of, of Neil Young and, and whether or not he is effective in fighting against the oil sands? He's doing a great job. He's standing up and saying the things that need to be said. And I'm very glad that he's decided to do it and to do it right now. How effective is he being, though, realistically? Extremely effective. Every newscast in the last three days has mentioned Neil Young and his, and, and his fight with the oil sands. And that's something that all Canadians need to know, is that the oil sands are something we don't need to do. And if we continue to do them the way we we're doing it, we're going to destroy the way of life and of, of, of several native bands. But more importantly, we're slowly destroying the climate by putting so much carbon into the atmosphere. We've been speaking to a number of guests, John, uh, throughout the day about Neil Young's position. Uh, one of the guests that I spoke to within the last hour or so said that Neil Young is not using the right facts when he says that Canadian oil is going to be sent to China, one of the world's dirtiest countries. Uh, my guest said that's not true. The oil does not go to China. Canada does not ship oil directly to China. Is that, is that true? Well, not now, but the whole point of building the pipelines, both the Keystone and the, and the Northern Gateway, is to get Canadian oil to the Asian market. I see. But Neil Young is absolutely correct that, that, that this, is, this is not about supplying Canadians or even Americans with oil. It's about supplying, uh, supplying China. And, of course, Joe Oliver, our Minister of Natural Resources, has been in India all week promoting selling more oil there as well. Uh, when you hear some of the oil industry uh, saying that Neil Young has the democratic right to be wrong, uh, your uh, counter argument to that? Well, he's not wrong. Um, he's absolutely right when he says that the, the, the oil sands development is, is, is like Hiroshima in its devastation in the local area, but it's more like a slow motion de devastation of Hiroshima around the world. Millions of lives are going to be lost because of climate change, and we can only prevent them by not, bur not digging up and burning oil. And this country is committed to putting as much carbon dioxide in the atmosphere as possible, and we don't need to do it. We have more than enough supplies of energy to meet our needs forever without continuing to expand the oil sands. I want to talk to you a little bit about uh, sort of celebrity endorsements, uh, in this case, uh, Neil Young coming out against this. Uh, that rubs some people the wrong way. They don't like it when celebrities do that. They say, you know, that's your own personal opinion. You shouldn't be using your fame uh, for, a, you know, for a crusade. So if you become famous, you're no longer allowed to have free speech. Um, I think that's really important that celebrities use their their celebrity uh, to to good social ends, and it's much better than to be having his picture on in the paper for doing bad things. Here he is coming to Canada, helping a First Nations band that really needs help to go to court to have its rights enforced, and he's speaking out and he's using his his fame in order to grab attention. And I think that's something that more celebrities should be doing, not fewer. He also drew a parallel that uh, rubbed uh, some people the wrong way, uh, the parallel between the oil sands landscape and uh, Hiroshima in Japan after the atomic bomb was dropped in 1945. Is that, in your mind, John, an acceptable comparison? 
Oh, well, absolutely. It's, not, it's, it's more of a metaphor than a comparison, though. But the devastation to the land around Fort McMurray is unbelievable uh, in, in its scope and in its size. And that's what he, the, 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 what he was trying to convey, is the same kind of unbelievable destruction that happened to Hiroshima, mm. plus the long-term impact of carbon dioxide emissions causing climate change is going to kill far more people than Hiroshima, as I've already said. As this tour continues across Canada, these concerts that he's giving, uh, Neil Young being very outspoken on this issue, what sort of effect do you think it's going to have on energy development in Alberta? Well, I think it's going to help uh, help people like me get through to more Canadians. Um, it, 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 by all this attention that he's gathering, we're, we're getting to say things that we don't get to say as often as we would like to say them. And I think a new group of people are going to become aware of the fact that uh, Canada is, is destroying its own its own reputation as well as its own environment in order to sell oil to, to, to China. Um, we don't need to do that. We 